Anyways, lady asking for advice. <laughs> hey, Billy, no buns. I'm loving this. You motivate me. I'm going to the gym right after this, and I'm doing some squats. Uh, I'm a 23-year-old woman. Oh, by the way, I, I cannot I, – I, I got one of those little fucking, you know, you know those little uh, foam rollers. I already had one of those, but I've been using that religiously. And then I got one of those little balls that you can just roll out your fucking legs, your glutes, your back, the whole fucking thing when you're on the road. If you're an old person like me, it, it is a game changer. Game changer. Uh, anyways, I'm a 23-year-old woman from London, and I love your podcast. Oh, thank you. I'm crushing it with the 23-year-old ladies this week. Uh, you always say you want to hear from more of us ladies. I do, because it gets too one, one-sided. So here I am. I would love your advice on my current situation. My parents were quite strict when I was growing up, so I, never, I have never been on a date before. Yeah, I would say that goes a little beyond quite strict. Uh, I would say suffocating. I still live at home. I'm studying for my master's. They are less strict now as my brother is now married and they are now more comfortable with me dating. Well, what the fuck is their problem? Hey, dude, that's, that's like sad. You should, you know, I'm not saying go out and fucking, you know, get gang banged here, but, you know, go out and, you know, go on a date. Experience finding love, losing it, and fucking that weird thing when you finally erase their number out of their phone. I mean, I, I can't, out of your phone, I can't believe you missed all that. Anyways, I'm studying part-time, and I am working for the rest of the time. How do I go about meeting new people? The people I work with are all in their mid-40s and don't really socialize outside of work. Any advice would be appreciated. All right, number one, don't fuck any of those 40-year-olds. Okay? You work with them, and they're old. Don't do it. Okay? God knows where the fuck those old dicks have been. Stay away from them. All right? You're like a fucking, one of those, you know, you know those, those nerds by the uh, Star Wars action figures, and it's the big thing if the box has never been opened. Your box has never been opened, all right? It's worth a lot of money there. Um, and also, you're asking me how to meet people when I've been out of the dating scene for like 15 years. I'm 50 years old, and at no point in my life was I still living at home studying for my master's while having a job. I love that you felt enough about me that you thought at some point in my life I attained that level of success and was that pressed for time. Um, how do I go about meeting new people? Don't you guys just like go on apps, dating apps? You know what? I'm actually going to phone a friend on this one. The rest of the podcast listeners. Guys, how do you do it? Ladies. I should ask the ladies. How in this day and age... Could someone with a vagina, 23-year-old vagina, that has not had the seal broken yet, how can they go out into the dating world, avoid the dirty dicks, and actually have a nice entry into the dating world, a positive experience that's going to make her not be jaded and think that maybe her parents were right for fucking, you know, keeping her chained to a radiator for the first quarter of century of her life? Uh, how should she go about doing it? I, I think, feel like dating apps, there's a lot of guys on there just trying to fuck, you know? And then they, there's these, no, no, that's that app. That's that app where people are just trying to hook up. This app is the more serious app. Well, what's to prevent someone to go on there and just act like they're looking for a relationship when they just want to bang you? So um, the first thing I would say, if you have the time, is you need some sort of uh, activity that you're involved in that involves you uh, socializing with, uh, you know, men and women, basically. I don't know what it is. You know, going to bars, getting hammered and shit, that's usually not going to – you're not going to meet a nice guy there for the most part. Uh, I would say, I don't know. Join a softball league. <laughs> you meet a lot of women there. Um, volleyball. What was? I mean, I'm old. Fucking start riding a dirt bike. Maybe you'll meet some guys out there in the trail. Uh, the dusty dicks. I, I mean, I don't. I don't know. How to, I don't know how to help you here. I'm sorry. Uh, 
I, I yeah, I got I got I got to phone a friend here. You guys got to help me out here. Help this lady, okay? Put on on in in the subject. Put uh, uh, what do you twenty three fresh box. All right, fresh box twenty three. Let's call it that. All right, and you send email me your advice, okay? And then we can fucking figure it out. Uh, we can help this lady out because, uh, you know, I have empathy for you that you're late to the game. I, I showed up late to the game. I showed up at about fucking halftime. Down 40 points.